Women in Sport Aotearoa is delighted to welcome our 10 leaders from the Pacific here for the inaugural Women's Pacific Leadership Program. They'll be joining us here for three weeks representing Fiji, Tonga, Samoa and the Cook Islands for a chance to grow their personal leadership style, explore others and then spend time hosted in New Zealand sports organisations. Having this opportunity to join these uh, Women in Leadership Program it's a privilege for me. I'm so looking forward to gain more experience and fill in my cup <laughs> and with all the knowledge and experience that you have and take it back to Tonga. I believe our culture in the Pacific Islands, it's not normal to see women lead. And so I believe that this will be a great opportunity to break that barrier back home in the Cook Islands and my fellow sisters as well. So the program came about using the Global Sport Mentoring Program as a template for the development of a similar type program based in Aotearoa, New Zealand um, and focusing on uh, women in the Pacific Islands. It's part of who we are, we're a Pacific Island, we're a part of the Pacific and we've always, when Women in Sport Aotearoa started, we always had a commitment to looking into Pacific and seeing how we might be able to assist in growing and developing women in sport in that space. So this collaboration is actually uh, a fruition of a long held vision because we wanted to create not just opportunities for our Pacifica women here in Aotearoa, but also for our aspiring leaders working across the sports and recreation sector in Oceania. It just showcases that when different organisations with a shared vision work together, great things happen and our women benefit. It's been an absolute honour and privilege to have uh, both Tapita and Salome in our organisation. Just the opportunity to share some of what we're doing for our Pacific community in the Waitakere region. And so uh, we hope that uh, at any time that the woman would uh, you know, want to reach out if they need the extra support and so too the other way. So I think um, the great thing is when you're involving more partners, uh, just brings better perspective. So of course it's always important and that's what we've also been working with the ladies about is um, I guess not being our, ourselves in our, own, um, in our own work and knowing that there's others who have strengths. So I believe in the collaboration. A huge honour to host Nina. I think she's taught us a whole range of things while she's been with us. And I've been able to connect her with a range of people at New Zealand Rugby, from comms through to design, through to coach development, through to participation. And then we've gone outside of our organisation, visiting Sky TV, to North Harbour Rugby, County's Monaco, attend a Black Ferns Hub training, so that was really exciting for her. Bit of the morning at TVNZ, and then Moana Pacifica to wrap that all up. So I've really enjoyed joining alongside her. And understanding that Christianity is, it is actually who we are in the Pacific and, and everything that we do revolves around our faith in God. Um, so I hope that um, they were able to see how we also work in that space. So part of the program, each participant has to design an action plan for change, one that improves the outcomes for women and girls back home. Um, I hope to start off with my project called the Maramaganga Project, specifically targeting uh, women and girls living with disabilities in sports. I um, hope to start off with my community activation program and keep in touch with my networking family here in New Zealand. There's so many programs that I want to do that I've learned at New Zealand Rugby, but obviously I'll stick to what my action plan is, that is what I hope to achieve. Starting small, but being impactful. The highlight of this whole trip for me is just um, seeing the structure and how the system works in New Zealand and just seeing how, you know, with probation, Oranga Tamariki, how they work um, things around physical activities and rehabilitation with um, the young people. I loved it. It's been amazing. It's been a dream for me to be a part of this program. The women that I've met and the different coaches, the leaders in their different spaces um, and just learning how they they run their high performance programs. It's just been amazing. The goal of the program is to impact the livelihoods of women and girls living in the Pacific, particularly through the vehicle of sport and physical activity. We hope that this program inspires more females to lead in sport and physical activity, not just in Aotearoa, but across in the Pacific Islands also. The pilot has proven to be successful and we will see the outcomes of that um, but I think it's also the beginning of a network of women who are committed to creating opportunities um, within their own communities and they will learn and grow from each other, support each other. Um, 
we bring together the next 10 women and then we have 20 women in the Pacific Islands that are, that are doing meaningful projects in their communities and that's only going to grow and continue to um, you know, evolve into a much greater network as well. So I, I think it's critically important but for it to be a one-off would be a, a massive loss in my view. You've not only answered our prayers, but I know that families back in our individual communities are praying prayers. And then we will be able to go back into those spaces. And then just, just God being able to do this for all of us. You know, I kept saying, like, we're going we're gonna to go back and we, this is, we're going to be changing lives. You know, it means one at a time, one day at a time, from today or tomorrow, but 20 years down the line. I just want to thank you very much for for giving me this opportunity.